Hello friends, the topic of today's discussion is Seyfert-Gilbert homologation reaction. In this lecture, we will discuss the following points. General introduction, mechanism, some examples, demerits of Seyfert-Gilbert homologation, Bessemann ohira modification. Under this head, we will discuss Bessemann ohira reagent and conditions, mechanism for the generation of key species from the modified reagent, Bessemann ohira reagent synthesis, Bessemann ohira modification examples, and finally, merits and demerits of Bessemann ohira modification. Seyfert Gilbert homologation is the reaction of an aryl ketone or an aldehyde with dimethyl diazomethyl phosphonate in the presence of a strong base like potassium T butoxide at low temperature to produce substituted alkyne. Dimethyl diazomethyl phosphonate is often called Safer Gilbert reagent. This is a homologation reaction because the product has only one carbon higher than the starting material. For making Seyfert Gilbert homologation product in a simple way, remove the two carbonyl group connecting R and R prime and then reconnect them via an alkyne. Mechanism of Seyfert Gilbert homologation base abstracts proton from dimethyl diazomethyl phosphonate to produce dimethyl diazomethyl phosphonate anion which acts as a nucleophile and attacks on the carbonyl carbon to produce alkoxide which after ring closure process produces oxaphosphatidine just like Wittig reaction. Elimination of dimethyl phosphate ion gives vinyl diazo intermediate which eliminates nitrogen gas to produce vinylidene carbene. This vinylidene carbene undergoes one to migration of one of the two substituents to produce substituted alkyne product. Examples of Seyfert Gilbert homologation Conversion of 2 phenyl acetaldehyde to prop 1 ion 1 l benzene, 2 ethyl hexanol to 3 ethyl hept 1 ion, 4 methoxybenzaldehyde to 1 ethyl 4 methoxybenzene, 4 nitrobenzaldehyde to 1 ethyl 4 nitrobenzene are some of the examples of Seyfert Gilbert homologation. These are the chiral alkyne intermediates for the natural product synthesis that have been made using Seyfert Gilbert homologation reaction starting from corresponding aldehydes. This is an example of conversion of alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde to terminal alkyne. Conversion of acetophenone to prop 1-ion 1-il benzene and conversion of benzophenone to 1-2-diphenyl ethyne are the examples of conversion of ketone to alkyne. Demerits of Seyfert Gilbert reaction Seyfert Gilbert reaction is performed under a strong basic condition. It requires low temperature and inert atmosphere. Under a strong basic condition, base sensitive substrates such as enolizable aldehydes would give lower yield because of competing aldol condensation. Also, there is possibility for the racemization in the case of aldehydes with chiral center at alpha position. Bestman-Ohira modification 
If we recall the mechanism of Seyfert Gilbert homologation reaction, we will see that dimethyl diazomethyl phosphonate NIN is generated from dimethyl diazomethyl phosphonate after proton abstraction by a strong base. In Baseman O'Hara modification, the same anion is generated from dimethyl diazo 2 oxopropyl phosphonate in the presence of mild base such as potassium carbonate in methanol at room temperature. Dimethyl diazo 2 oxopropyl phosphonate is called Baseman O'Hara reagent. Now we will see how dimethyl diazomethyl phosphonate anion is generated from Baseman O'Hara reagent under modified condition. Methoxide ion generated by the reaction of potassium carbonate with methanol adds on the carbonyl group of Baseman O'Hara reagent to produce this alkoxide ion which eliminates methyl acetate to produce dimethyl diazomethyl phosphonate anion. Rest of the mechanistic steps are the same as Seyfried Gilbert reaction. Baseman O'Hara reagent synthesis. Baseman O'Hara reagent is generated by the reaction of dimethyl 2 oxopropyl phosphonate with paratoluene sulfonyl azide or imidazole 1 sulfonyl azide in the presence of base like sodium hydride or potassium carbonate in THF or acetonitrile. The mechanism involves abstraction of active methylene proton from dimethyl 2 oxopropyl phosphonate to produce anion A which undergoes nucleophilic addition with paratoluene sulfonyl azide to produce species B. Species B undergoes intramolecular proton transfer to generate species C. The other resonance structure of species C can be drawn like C prime. Now C prime eliminates paratoluene sulfonamide anion to produce Baseman O'Hara reagent. These are some of the examples where aromatic, achiral aliphatic and chiral aliphatic aldehydes have been transformed into their homologous terminal alkynes using Baseman O'Hara reagent. There are some merits of Baseman O'Hara modification over Seyfert Gilbert condition. It requires mild reaction condition, no inert atmosphere is required, even enolizable aldehydes give corresponding terminal alkyne in excellent yield, no racemization occurs in alpha alkoxy aldehydes, aldehydes with base sensitive functionalities are homologated in excellent yields. It also has certain demerits. For example, alpha beta unsaturated aldehydes don't give expected ions. In this case, the main isolated product was homopropargyl methyl ether. This is probably because of initial conjugated addition of methanol followed by transformation to alkyne.